Charlton boss Ben Garner missed this one due to a positive COVID test and despite the absence of the gaffer, Charlton took the match to Fleetwood and perhaps should have taken the lead but Jesser and Raksaki fired over from close range. It was a miss that would quickly come back to haunt the visitors. Harvey McAdams' cross found its way through to Callum Morton and the 22-year-old stabbed in his first of the season. Garner made a video call to his players at half-time and Fleetwood must have wished they turned off the Wi-Fi because Charlton came out like a changed side. Corey Blackett-Taylor watched his shot come back off the bar. The addicts were now on top and it was one-way traffic. Half-time substitute Mandela Egbo next to try his luck for an equaliser. Again, the frame of the goal came to the rescue of Jay Lynch, who was well beaten. It was another sub who rescued a point for Charlton. Miles Leyburn had only been on the pitch three minutes. The 18-year-old grabbed his third league goal of the season. All have come from the bench. With finishes like this, he might be in line for a start at Barnsley next time out. And it might come at the expense of Raksaki. Having failed to hit the target earlier in the match, he had a great chance to win it in time added on. At least this one was on target, but Lynch made sure that the points were shared. The top four all drawing. Barnsley were the big move as they jumped five places up to sixth. Burton and Morecambe stay in the bottom two positions, both though picking up their first wins of the season. Bristol Rovers and Forest Green drop into the relegation zone.